So, hey everyone, welcome back to Rebecca's Coming Arts and Crafts. So, I just thought I would do a bit of an unboxing today of, I've got five chuck pinstons that have turned up uh, from Diamond Art Club, but I'm going to actually just do these one unboxing per video kind of thing. But I just thought I would start with showing you sort of what we've got coming. So, the ones that I've got here are Cottage by the Sea. And that's Holly whining at the back. I just shut her at the back to allow me to do this because sometimes she bumps into things and knocks things over and all of that. I'll see if she'll settle in a minute. Then we've also got the Sweet Garden. This is There's four new releases here. I missed two of the new releases because I didn't have funds. We've also got Tropical Oasis. Sunrise by the Sea, and Seaside Dreams. So I'm gonna shift some of these off here. And I think I might start with the Sweet Garden, I think I'm going to start with. I just opened the door so she can see me. I just don't want her running and bumping into things whilst I'm trying to record. Do you want to go out, Lil's? All right. I just quickly like chat them up. There you go, good girl. Good girl, so love you. There you go, the pups are out. House is covered in mud due to all the rain and stuff. But, yeah. So I'm going to unbox this. Grab my scissors. And hopefully I will be able to get this fully in frame. It's the hope. I just realised or learnt today that you can actually, um, like I've always noticed it zoomed in, but I just learnt today that you can actually zoom out in 16 by 9 photo format on the mobile, which is cool. I'll probably try to unwrap the sticky, the plastic. Of the others before we do this but like usually I've already gotten the pieces out and the stickers out and all of that but I just decided to do this from what it was right now so I'm gonna open this up the one you see in the background is Woodland Church by Abraham Hunter from Diamond Art Club as well that I'm currently working on and I've got a couple of other pieces I'm also working on there. So, let's see. So, first thing we've got here is our little sticker for the sweet garden. And this te I tend to put this in my journal, but some people stick it on the end of their boxes and all the rest so they know what's what. We've also got our toolkit and our Diamond Art Club bag. So I will go through the toolkit first. So this is the new toolkit. And there goes Lily barking at something again. <sighs> Excuse me a minute whilst I go and get Lily in. Lily! Now I've got mud all over my hands. I'm trying to keep Holly out because she's at that point. She's that point of the day where she's overexcited, runs around, bumps into everything, all of that. So sorry about that. And Lily didn't want to come in after all. So 
my apologies. So first thing first, we have our tweezers. These come exclusively in the square kits. So this is a square kit. All of these kits are squares because I typically don't buy rounds. We've got our drill pen. But yeah, Holly's currently in her phase of the day where she's just over exuberant about everything and she's liable to run into things, bump into things. If she gets my other dog playing, they go and start <laughs> demolishing things and all the rest. So, so our cover minder is a pink macaron, um, another double. I don't know how many doubles I've got of some of these ones. Like some of the macarons I've got in different colours, but I'm regularly ending up with doubles lately for some reason. I don't know why, but luck of the draw. We've got our heart-shaped wax tub with two heart-shaped waxes. I tend to like to lay them like that. So with the lid, the old ones don't have this. We've got our washi tape. This washi tape just looks like some pink spots on a white washi tape. A pencil grip for on our um, diamond pen if you use the generic ones. I'll probably use those in time on my pencils or something if they fit. We got, uh, I think it's a four and seven multi-placer or four and six multi-placer. I don't use these because I don't like to multi-place. And we've got the new white drill tray. We do. But that's the luck of the draw with what you're getting with the Diamond Art Club stuff. It's with the um, with the cover minder. It's kind of very much a luck of the draw. And I seem to be just getting unlucky and getting a lot of doubles lately. life but yeah I've had too many experiences of Holly knocking things down or knocking things over and so I don't want that to happen whilst I'm trying to do my unboxing I don't not in the slightest put that out of the way because I keep the stickers separate and put them in my journal so next we got our canvas, which this is the other way up here. And whoops, sorry, I just bumped that. So hopefully I'll be able to get the full thing in frame. Hopefully. Okay. You can roll this one backwards because it is the um, clear plastic. It's not the double-sided adhesive, but double-sided adhesive you can't roll back the piece to flatten it. Diamond Art Club does do like this felt slash velvety style canvas. They've got scalloped edges to stop things from fraying. Um, the trademark of Diamond Art Club is our Do What Makes You Sparkle up here. As well as, just let me... Like you can roll this to flatten it, but I'm not going to at this point because I'm going to be rolling it straight back up into the box. We've got our legends on both sides. So you've got a legend here, legend over here, and I'm trying to keep out of the frame of the camera, but probably got some of my head in the light. I just heard something, so I have to go and check the dogs. We've got our The Sweet Garden Chuck Pinson Diamond Art Club. This shows that it's licensed which means that it's supporting artists and giving some money to the artists. Down here, we've got our lifetime warranty and Diamond Art Club's Facebook and Instagram pages, plus a code for 10% off in Diamond Art Club. And over in this final corner, that's your lifetime warranty. So <laughs> I made a mistake there. And Diamond Art Club is really good about trying to help customers out with those. So I'm just going to quickly go and check the dogs because I just heard something. What are you two doing? Your 
still there. Okay, the bells. Well, Holly came, so she's not into something. Lil might have been hopping under the van or something. And so now we've got our image here, which is Diamond Art Club's Chuck Pinson Sweet Garden. So this is one of their recent releases. I haven't actually found much of this one on YouTube yet. So I don't know if this is the first one. Somebody else might have posted one since. But yeah. And there goes Lily barking again. <sighs> She's very insecure due to something that's happened to her when she was a pup. So, um, oh, she's stopped again, so it's over nothing. So, we've got our pretty little gardens here, and I'll go over. I actually just realised I have to go through some of the other stuff that comes with the kit. So, we've got this thank you pamphlet. We've got our what's included in your kit, tips and tricks. Uh, um, oh, I can't think, QR codes to the Facebook group and to their video step-by-step -step instructions, more step-by-step -step instructions. And then uh, I think, yeah, that's discount codes off your first purchase through the app. We've also got here our little pamphlet thing, um, sticky pamphlet. So this actually comes with sticker legends that you can peel off. I use these in my journal slash legend book just because when I put the washi taper around around the edge of the canvas, it goes and actually takes out the legend and I can no longer see the legend. So I use this as my guide for the legend from my book. We've got our start and end date, our title, our size. So this one's 93 by 70 centimeters diamond shaped square you can see here we've got two fairy dust drills I think it is and we've got four ABs so ABs are anything under the number of 150 so 150 isn't an AB from what I've learned so four ABs this is our little image and I use all of this in my journal and then here we've got I'm going to put the sticker legend aside because I'll put it in my journal somewhere. Here we've also got our drills as well. So this is a very pretty garden, bright greens with some olive greens, some bright colours, all of that. It also does come if you like to store it separate, which I'm starting to consider whether I pull all my pieces out of the boxes, store the canvases flat, and store these in like um, collapsible storage drums or whatever. And so I'm starting to consider whether I'm going to do that or not, just to make a bit more space. But um, so you've got your label here to tell you which drills are which. I've also noticed recently they've now switched from the blue around the names of the drills to a purple, a deep sort of aubergine purple. But in case you store your drills separate from the canvases, there's no chance of losing what the drills are just because you've got the label tag on here. So, yeah, anyway, like any other Chuck Pinson, obviously there is going to be a lot of details and hidden things to find in here. So we've got like a little hummingbird, I think, here. We've got a horse here and two other horses over there. Another little bird here. Um, I'm guessing this is like a veggie slash flower garden over here. So I think we've got some cabbages and some flowers. I'm not sure what this is here, but it's cool. And our old style house with smoke coming out the chimney up the top there. And obviously our garden, lavender, flowers, all of that rocks. Oh, there's a little bunny rabbit down here in the garden bed that I didn't see before. A little um, push cart with the, it looks like there's a bird in there and some flowers growing in it. Might be a gate into the house there or something, a white picket fence. 
yeah, very, <laughs> very pretty. And I really love it. So, yeah, it's just gorgeous. And I'm so happy I was able to get it all basically in frame. I am. And so now I will go into a drill and hopefully I can get this to work. Um, I know some people find the plastic opening annoying, but there isn't much that I can do about that at this point. So I'll try and make it as quick as possible and get our drills out. So I'm going to leave the canvas in the background so you can still admire areas, but it may blur out when I bring these closer to the camera to show you what colors are in here. So it may. And then we will see if we can find where our ABs and fairy dust drills and that are after this. We will. So these are all our pretty colors. Really, really gorgeous. Obviously garden colors. So we're going to open this up. And from what I know, Diamond Art Club is still transitioning between um, the 20 facet drills and 13 facets. So you might still find some 13 facet drills in, in your pieces. But they're slowly getting more of the 20 facets in there as they're gradually fading out the 13 facets. So we've got it the wrong way around. Let's see, can we get this to be able to see the number? So first one we've got 972. 995. I'm just trying to work because I've got this attached to the lighting. So there's a bit more reflection. 3846 and... Diamond Art Club actually does these in size of amounts, so you're not going to find them in the exact DMC code. 996, 782. If I get the number wrong, apologies. I'm just trying to read this through the camera. 352, 780, 165. That's a pretty green. 3012. 336, 814, 210, 3712, 436, 975, Z775. So this is our first fairy dust. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, it's like a light sort of dusting of fairy dust coatings. And this is like a very light pale blue slash mint green. But it's just a very sort of faint sparkle shimmer on the drills. It's still easily seen and it's very beautiful. But I don't know if I can get it seen properly in the camera. So this is a normal drill. And this is the fairy dust. And then 341. Looks like we have some ABs in our next one. Looks like we do. So we've also got 831, 3857. And yes, yeah, some of these still are the 13 facets. Others are the 20 facets. 119, so this is our first AB and it's a pretty purple. I'm assuming this will probably be in the flowers. But we will have a look in a bit. 926. This one's 157. 898. 644. That looks more green than it is, but it's actually a sort of a browny gray kind of thing. And I can see uh, what looks like a round drill in there as well. Weird. Must have fallen out. 830, 
800, no, that's not 800, that's 300. Our next AB, this is 100, and this is like an olivey green. And AB, I forgot to mention before, stands for Aurora Borealis. So this is based on like the Northern Lights or the Aurora Borealis, where you see the different reflections and colored lights in the sky. These reflections also will highlight other colors around them and reflect those colors into the Aurora Borealis, depending on the way you look at the image. Oops, sorry, I just hit the light. It's very hard for me to stand here. Got 3347. 141, so this is our next AB. This is a white AB that Diamond Art Club regularly uses. It is. And next AB is 103, and this is like a red. Not quite sure what red, but it's a pretty red. We've got 400 hard to read it through the thing with the way I've got the lighting but 3064 498 3859 839 and 3818 pretty green and I don't know how I'm going to get a leaf back in the <laughs> bag but we will work it out we will so it looks like we've got two rows left it looks like mostly greens in the next rows and i've got it the wrong way around and i thought i didn't because that was the way the others went ah. so we've got 3750 it looks brighter blue than it is the lighting changes the colours. This is more like a navy blue. Not, and it's a bit darker than it shows in the camera lighting. So we've got 550. We've got 699, two bags of that. 452, 938. We've got two bags of that. Z703, so we've got this green fairy dust. Hopefully you can see the bit of fairy dust sparkle there. It's very pretty. Diamond Art Club is also now doing, I think, iridescent and metallic and those kinds of beads, which is awesome and glow in the dark as well from what I know. Can't remember if there are others, but they're the ones I remember. 829, 702, we've got two bags of that. 159, two bags of that. Sort of like a purpley gray. 936, 3768a. I don't think I've ever seen this color before. It's not, it doesn't, it kind of looks bluey gray slash green in there, but it's a lot darker, a lot more of a darkish gray than it looks in the lighting. So, yeah, it's interesting how the color changes in the actual camera. 327. 3346 and we've got two colors of that this looks brighter it's more of an olive green but it looks like a brighter green 779 and 208 wrong way around again then we got 935 and this is like an olivey dark olivey green but it looks brighter in the camera again 701 we got two bags of that 580 that's an olive green as well but it looks got two bags of that but it's looks brighter in the camera as usual 581 we got two bags of that so obviously this is a lot of greens 310 so we got two bags of 310. And Holly's out there barking, trying to get Lils to play. I'm going to have to get on top of that after this. 451, 347. Holly can go overboard with her barking, but she seems to have settled now. 30, 33. She tends to chuck tantrums when Lily's got something she doesn't have. 
And then she'll also just bark just to try and get Lil's attention. And Lil's is barking in incessantly too. So I'm going to have to go and get them in in a minute. So we've got 150, 471. These all look much brighter on the camera than they actually, like they're bright, but the colours aren't accurate don't look as accurate on the camera as they are off camera kind of thing. So the camera's actually adjusting the color. So we've got 8.95 in two bags, 38.60 and 9.87 in two bags. So they're still bright colors, but they just don't look as accurate on the camera. And I'm just, oh, they've stopped again. So, so yeah we're now going to go and try and find these ab's where they are i might just try doing one a day just depending on how i'm feeling there goes holly i might just try getting them in inside and get holly in a bed whilst i do this what are you two up to You calm down. No, not all over me when you've got mud all over you. Come on. You settle down. Uh-uh-uh. Settle down. Settle. I don't want mud all over me. Hey. Go on. Bed. Yes. Now I'm going to wipe mud off my PJs. Thanks, miss. Holly's hyper at the moment, but she's still going through that puppy stage. So, yeah. Just do the best you can. You just do. So we'll go and find the ABs and that now. So we've got number one is 100. I've noticed recently Thumb and Art Club has changed. They used to always have four as 141, but they've recently changed 141 to a white box with the black dot as well. So we'll look, um, we'll try and go through one and then into our fairy dust later. So we'll start with one, which is 100. Oh, let's see where we can find it. I was expecting it in the grass, but... Oh yeah, there is some ones down here in the grass, in this area. Some ones in this bush here. Air bubble. <laughs> Um, some ones in this grass here, ones here, ones here. So you got ones going all the way up through here in the grass like I thought it would be. There is a bit of one over here too. Um, let's see, is there any in the trees? Any ones? No. No ones in the trees there over that side. Any ones over this side? Doesn't seem to be any ones here. So the ones are mostly just in our grass area and this front olive bush. So two is 103. So we're looking for number two here. So we got some twos up in this red bush here, up the top here. Some twos in these red flowers here. They're not in absolutely every flower, but they're in most flowers as a highlight. Got a couple of twos down here in these flowers. Some twos here, twos here, some twos around here. We got some twos in this bottom area here as well. Some twos here, bit of twos there, 
most of this bit here is not twos but then there are twos up in this bit these flowers and I can't see twos elsewhere because it's unless there's some in this red over here is there yeah there are some twos just in a couple of these spots here so here 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 and that's about it for the twos number three is our 119 so this is our purple so I'm predicting this is probably in the flowers again too I'll just check these trees while I'm up here so there is none in those background trees but there is threes in this purple flowers here all down here no threes there there is threes in the lavender here some threes in our purple cabbages no threes there a bit of threes here but most of that is not threes so most of our purple seems to be in the purple flowers most of our threes is so now our 141 which is our white background with a black spot so that is down here in this in some of this um, area here some of it here bit here so, um, see is there any in the white horse yes there is some white ABs in our horse here this white horse in his forehead and a bit in his body or her body whichever um, not all of these white patches are white ABs there's just some of them so there's some white ABs in here, in this white area. Some white ABs in this area here with these white flowers. White ABs in these flowers. So it seems like a lot of the ABs are actually targeted at the flowers. And some more white ABs up in this area, but these upper areas there's a bit of white AB here, but there's none over in this area. There's also some white ABs in our picket fence here as well. And then after this, we've got our Z703, which is our green fairy dust. So that's like a little sword symbol. So let's see where we can see that. can be a little trickier to find so I may miss areas I'm not sure can't really see it here yet I can't so I can see some in the green cabbage here there's some in these flower bed here. So it seems like the fairy dust is sort of separated from where there's a lot of the ABs. Just to highlight other areas differently, it seems. So we've got a heap of our fairy dust up in this upper tree here, this green tree, and the leaves here as well. And that's about where I can see that. And then we've got a Z775, which I think is like a grey, but that's a capital A that I'm looking for. So, so where is that? Capital A. So that fairy dust is a whole heap in the roof here. Whole heap of that fairy dust in the roof. bit of it up here in the smoke coming out of our chimney mm -hmm. 
And that's about all that I can see for the Z for Z775. Seems to be like a greyish sort of white. So but I can't see it anywhere else at this point. So yeah, I hope that's helped anyway, and I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and see if I can get one of these uploaded each day, but we'll just wait and see. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this and I will talk to you later. Sorry for the interruptions with the dogs. Sometimes I've just got to try and manage them as things happen. And particularly with Holly, since she's assistance dog in training and a new puppy and that, she's just taking time to teach her things. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this anyway, and I will talk to you later. Bye.